Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 Beta 3. Finally, the wait is over. I know we were waiting for this beta for so long. iOS 17 has been a really, really great and at the same time, really buggy journey for all of us. In this video, we are going to talk about iOS 17 Beta 3. It is here and we are going to talk about what's new in this update. My name is Jay. You are watching Tech Hyped. I am one of the first person covering iOS and latest updates of iOS and Apple related content. So please hit that subscribe button. I do deserve it because I do work really hard. Trust me, it's really late night here in India. Everyone's sleeping at my home and I'm just here making videos for you guys. So I do deserve a subscribe. Plus my birthday is on 31st July. So would be amazing if you guys can gift me 10k yes we are really close to 10k so please hit that subscribe button anyways getting back to the topic ios 17 beta 3 it is finally here i was waiting for this so much number one reason the ios 17 beta 2 has been really weird for a lot of people we'll talk about what's new in the ios 17 beta 3 later in the video so please keep watching and don't just close this video i will talk about the beta 3 and what's new in this so please stay in this video but at the same time it has been good too for some people it I think it depends from device to device particularly because but it is still really really weird how so many people are having so different experience probably the workflow is the thing which separates a lot there are a lot of my subscribers if you are new here I do talk to a lot of my subscribers and discuss to them about the latest updates and also you can hook up with me on my twitter at the rate tech hype we talk a lot of tech there so a lot of you guys actually told me that you are having a lot of bugs on ios 17 that is pretty much all right it is supposed to have bugs ios 17 is in beta stage it is pretty normal to have bugs right now but there were at the same time like five out of 12 people said that they are having a great update and great experience using the ios 17 beta 3 it is very confusing stage of ios 17 right now the question which appears is that is ios 17 beta 3 stable enough that i can recommend to most of the people to install this update because this update will be the update which public beta testers will get the public betas of ios 17 will be rolling out next week most probably histories and indication and apple beta uh, if you will go on the website of apple betas you will see that it is showing ios 17 betas coming soon which means that the beta 3 will be the first beta of ios 17 public beta yes i know this is a bit too confusing for you guys because some of you guys are new to beta and develop a beta cycle because apple made it free for everyone so everyone's downloading it let me simplify it so public beta 1 will be basically the first beta of ios 17 be the beta 3 of ios 17 developer beta the beta that we just got the developer beta 3 will be the same beta that people will run on their public testing anyways getting to the main part of this video that is what's new in this update number one thing that's new in this update is related to phone calls yes phone call wallpapers are now fixed yes the wallpaper bug that people were getting in general is resolved on the beta 3 that is a big news because because it was really really frustrating a lot of people were having this bug on your devices and it was really frustrating i even made a separate video discussing about that so you can even watch that if you're interested but basically what was happening is the wallpaper was getting blacked out or there were glitches on the wallpaper same goes when someone called you the new wallpaper feature when someone will call you you will see their photo which is a new feature in the photo wallpapers when someone in the call ui you know what i'm talking about about, that is now also resolved in this beta wallpaper bug is finally fixed what was wallpaper bug it was basically some people were having this issue on their devices including me wallpaper was getting glazed and it was getting blanked out or it was having weird shadows that is now finally resolved on the beta 3 let me know down in comments below if you are experiencing it still on your device or have you downloaded the beta 3 yet or not 
And FaceTime calls were also having bugs and they were getting dropped again and again. By now, it is a very short time that I have played with the beta 3. But I have managed to talk to some of my YouTuber friends and I came to a conclusion. I'm not experiencing the FaceTime bugs and FaceTime drops as much as I was experiencing earlier. But still, time will tell. It is too early right now to judge. So I will talk about it more on my follow up. It would be amazing if you guys can hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. In terms of features and changes, the bug fixes are only the main things that I have seen by now. There aren't any big changes in terms of features. I don't really see any of the big changes in terms of feature by now. I am still looking into it and of course this is one of the first video about iOS 17 beta 3. So you gotta give me some time and I will make sure to make more videos about hidden features and all in future. But that doesn't mean I haven't noticed any new feature. There is one feature that now works properly. The studio lighting feature in the FaceTime or what I should say is the portrait feature tab. Remember the portrait feature tab. That now works really effectively and earlier it was having really bad bugs. By the time, it was not even able to be usable. On the beta 2, it was still better, but it was unusable for me. Some people were able to use it, some were not. That's what I'm saying. iOS 17 has been really unpredictable and really unstable for the most part. But things are getting linear now and things are getting better as the time goes on. Do see a lot of improvements on iOS 17. That's what I want. That's what you want win-win situation it is for us ios 17 is getting better and reliable ios 17 beta 3 will be the one of the most stable version if you want to be on because this will be the same update that people will get next week as public beta so in case if you were not able to install it because you were scared you were not just installing it out of a fear that you will have issues you can still back up your device i would suggest that you should definitely back up your device and you can install the beta 3 because it will be definitely really really stable i am for sure then the next thing that i'm going to discuss is heating issues a lot of you guys were also having heating issue but this was very specific this was only for people who were having low battery health i was one of them so i did some research and talked to some of my subscribers and discussed this thing that we came to a conclusion that devices that that have less than 90 or 85 percent of battery health are having heating issues so by chance if your device has less than 90 percent i would say that stay away from this beta and especially if your device is older than iphone 13 iphone 12s and below should stay away from this update because it does heat up a lot for people with 85 percent or less battery health now the favorite part battery life how much better is the battery life on the beta 3 of course this is that something that is a bit too early for me to talk about right now but i think that ios 17 beta 3 must have good battery life because as i discussed earlier this will be the beta one of ios 17 for public testers so apple gotta make it really really stable and does not want to mess up around with the beta 3 you know what i'm talking about beta 3 will definitely have much better battery life if you haven't experienced better battery life on on the ios 17 because there are a lot of people who did not saw increase in battery life on the beta 2 in fact some people saw a decrease in their battery life and screen on time after installing the beta 2 so if you were one of those who didn't had good battery life and screen on time on the beta 2 you will have better battery life on the beta 3 for sure well, that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off thank you so much for watching till the end and i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out